Howdy, hello. Today I have arrived to the internet to share my first two rolls through the Fuji GSW 693. So recently I went on a trip out west to San Diego, uh, but before I left I became absolutely convinced that I needed a new medium format camera. I needed one that produced a bigger negative, something uh, fatter, juicier than the 645 I had already decided I was going to take along with me. I didn't want to drag around my RZ for obvious reasons, and I guess I really got it into my head that I wanted like a more dedicated landscape camera. But I think mostly that this is all just an excuse to finally pull the trigger on a Fuji GSW 690. I landed on the 3 because I like the way it looks and I was able to get one that was in great condition for a really similar price to the older versions. I did opt for a more wide angle lens, uh, 65 millimeter, uh, which is like 35 on a 35 millimeter equivalent. For the most part, I always tend toward 90 millimeter on medium format or 50 millimeter on 35. Uh, it's just what feels comfortable to me and it feels the most versatile. But I thought this would be a good opportunity to push myself in a different direction and use a different setup. So I really hate test rolls. Uh, test rolls kind of feel like the antithesis to my personal uh, interest and goals with film photography. Obviously, I understand why they're really important. I'm not shitting on test rolls. Uh, but I decided since I'd bought one that was film tested, I would just go ahead and take it straight on my trip and shoot it there with wild abandon, uh, light leaks. Never heard of her. What do I have to fear from her? I got back the film, and while every shot is certainly not a winner. Uh, I feel really happy about them. I feel excited to use the camera. I'll show some up close crops of the photos to give you an idea of the really impressive detail that is packed into this six by nine negative. The first roll is uh, throughout a few different neighborhoods in San Diego. I loaded up a roll of HP5. I rarely shoot black and white, but I guess it seemed fun because that's what I did. You do get eight photos on a roll of 120 with this camera, but I did take a duplicate shot on each roll. So uh, these are my first seven photos from the Fuji GSW 693. Yeah, probably most of the time it's auto flash. What? For my second roll, we were in really, really lovely Torrey Pines. Uh, I decided to load up a roll of Portrait 800. I rarely shoot high-speed films, but I guess it seemed fun, because that's what I did. Here are those seven photos.
Jane. So yeah, I just really wanted to share uh, the first two rolls from this camera. That's the kind of thing I really like to see, so I just wanted to put it out there. I am really excited about a couple of these, but typically would I share all of these photos? Absolutely not. But they do make me excited to take this camera out more and get to know it over the next few months. I'll do a real first impression sometime later, but for now I will say it's not as big. Hold on. It's not as big as people want to act like it is, and it's a really pleasant camera to use. Additionally, in the spirit of sharing the initial photos from this camera, I actually lent it out the day it had arrived to my good friend and fellow analog photographer, Brick Daniel Kyle. So a few days before my trip, he actually loaded it up with a roll of Fuji Pro 400H 220 and shot it. And here are a few of his favorite photos from that roll. Brick is a digital and film photographer here in town. He does product and portrait and just a uh, general shooting. I'll put his uh, Instagram links in the description. I will post a short video soon with more photos from my trip to Southern California, which was mainly San Diego sometime soon. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you have a Fuji GSW 690, I would love to hear any advice or thoughts you have. Obviously, I'm still super new to this camera. I'm very interested in other people's thoughts and work with it. Thanks. Thanks and talk to you soon.